I wonder, can I talk about drugs? All the drugs? All the drugs? Maybe. You might need that in order to enjoy the full capacity of this film. I'm talking about Nicolas Cage's Mandy on The Bloody Breakdown. Let's get creepy. There was just a lot going on. And I'm not sure I was in the right state of mind to fully enjoy it, if you know what I mean altered state of mind to fully enjoy the capacity of this film yeah this film mandy wow uh this is the film starring nicholas cage the infamous nicholas cage i mean you always know whatever movie this guy's in it's going to be something and this did not disappoint in being something it's like in the 1980s 1980s I love the 80s where Nicolas Cage's character is kind of like a revenge horror film where you know he's in love he has his girl he works in the woods and um, basically he, him and her he and her well <laughs> grammar he and her are basically uh, terrorized by this cult group uh, and Nicolas Cage's character goes on revenge to avenge um, you know what happens to them just a rip warm time of sat satanic bikers and rock and roll and hippie music and also Nicolas Cage with the huge chainsaw and axe and just a lot of blood that's the plot that's what you're getting okay so the first pro of this film is the look of it I thought I thought this was a very pretty film I um I thought in the beginning it was a bit like the color was a bit dark um I kind of I enjoyed the pink tone the pink fuchsia tone of things it was kind of psychedelic which is weird because it's the 1980s right so I don't know why they were like really leaning on the psychedelic aspect of it, it was really nice looking and I think if for nothing else um you will like the film for the look of it it, ha it has a, it has a vibe there is definitely a vibe to this film. The monsters of the film, or the bad guys, I actually like them, more so the monsters. Like, <laughs> at first when I saw them, I thought they were somewhat like Hellraiser ripoffs. Real talk, I thought they were, I mean, I looked at it, I was like, whoa. Like, who's like, Hellraiser rejects is this? It worked. I didn't, I didn't hate them. I thought the look was very reminiscent of Hellraiser. Not gonna lie, it totally was reminiscent of Hellraiser. But um, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing because I do think this movie, it takes place in the 1980s. Maybe in some way it's like homage to a lot of the old school horror flicks, right? To a certain degree. Honestly, it was mostly villains in this film and then Nicolas Cage and Mandy. You know, I was a little worried at first when I watched this film and this is for people who watch out it's particularly I don't want to say just women who may watch out for this stuff but um, people in general who may look out for and I talked about this in a previous um, review where I talked about brutality that happens to women in, in these films and you kind of can worry about that like is there going to be rape in this is there going to be some gratuitous like just like totally unnecessary visual that I do not need to be placed in my brain when it comes to um, this kind of film. And luckily, um, and this I don't think this is a spoiler, I think people should kind of know when they go into the whether or not they should prepare mentally for that. This was actually on the lighter side of that, which I appreciate it because I thought there were moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to, we're about to get into something. I don't really know if I want to do this I want to have fun with this film and um luckily I thought like the character of Mandy had certain kind of agency in there and on the other spectrum of that uh with there not being so much like or that much at all like brutality to the women characters I also um enjoyed the fact that there is some nudity in this film that's another thing you might want to know but it was equal opportunity nudity and that is key because I don't, I do not mind when somebody wants to show the boobies. I'm not against boobies in horror films, y'all. I'm all for it if it makes sense. 
Boobies are great. They look wonderful. Um, what I am against is when it's only the women who ever get naked. And that just doesn't make any sense to me. Even in like sex scenes and stuff. The women are always like the most naked. And the guy's like got his boxers on. And maybe even a shirt. And he's just like, really? And so I like the fact that there was equal opportunity. You may see certain parts of a guy's anatomy in this film. And that's okay. Speaking of which, Nicolas Cage. Oh my gosh. I mean, yes. I don't think anyone else could have played his part, y'all. This film was like catered to him in that sense. Like it totally, like I, there's just some scenes where I'm like, there's nobody else who could have played that. Maybe Tom Cruise. And I mean that in a good way. But like just that like, not necessarily like scenery chewing or just like, just that, that, that just like, I'm going to completely, I'm, I'm gonna act this, but I'm not gonna try to look handsome at this moment. I'm not gonna try to look cool and still sexy. Or I'm just gonna be, whoa. I'm just going, whoa, like that, I think, I mean, I'm not trying to impersonate Nicolas Cage right now. Really, I'm not. But <laughs> that's as close as I'm going to get to that. But you get what I'm saying? Just like, ugh, like, ugh. And I'm just like, yes. And with that, and talking about the, the Nicolas Cage's, um, you know, performance and everything, I, you know, the effects in this film were really <laughs> effective. Oh my gosh. I don't even like gore. I don't. But there were scenes where the, the blood splatter and I mean if you've seen the trailer you already know what you're getting yourself into with this there's like a huge long chainsaw all types of stuff that was actually that worked too okay so with that no uh, movie is perfect except clueless um but there were some cons and two major ones for me that stood out that I just um, I think may for some people be a deal breaker or, or I worry that um, may make it so they don't make it through the film. The pace. It's very pretty in the beginning, right? There's some, there's atmosphere, there's, there's quietness, but there's music, there's poetry. There's like that fuchsia pink hue that just really works. Uh, it works for me, right? But it felt so slow. It was slow, y'all. It was nothing happening. I know they were trying to, I mean, I know you have to create the exposition. You have to create that atmosphere. I just think it went on for way too long. Like that happened for way too long. Which is a shame, right? Because I'm worried that people may judge it based off of just that first half of the film because it's so, it feels so long that people may just say, well, because that was so long, the majority of the film itself is bad. So the film is bad. And that's not necessarily the case. I think this is one of those situations where um, editing would have helped to strengthen this a lot when it came to the pacing and getting to that second act a lot quicker. The My second con is the plot holes. I just, there were just some questions. I didn't know what was happening. And I don't know if that's because the first half was so long and drawn out that maybe I missed some stuff that then maybe played more into the second half. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm confused. I don't think they explained that. Or did they? Maybe they explained that in the first half of the movie that I kind of zoned out and then got on my phone for a little bit and texted. Is that my fault? I mean, that's the question. Is that my fault <laughs> that you put some of those plot points in the part of a film that just did not hold my attention so that when the second half came around I was confused I don't know okay so with all of that said that Nicolas Cage rampage of blood is Mandy stab approved oh my god I'm so dramatic just like Nicolas Cage but in such an awesome way because he was so awesome in this film yes yes Mandy is stab approved Ah. Yeah, I just, man, I just really enjoyed watching him. Um, it is that approved. I think if you want a good time in the second act of this film, if you like the blood and the gore, but in such a eccentric kind of way of just ex ex of just craziness, and if you enjoy atmosphere, if you're possibly high at the moment, 
you will enjoy this a lot, actually, if you are high. That was one of the things he was doing with his hand in the film. He does that a lot, I think. I think that's a thing he does. I think that's his actor's quirk. Whatever, it works. Mandy is staff approved, guys. There were certain scenes where I'm just like, man, this would probably be so awesome if I was on something right now. Um, so, did you watch Mandy? Do you have other Nicolas Cage films that you think that I will love? Please, please comment down below let me know your thoughts and also be sure to subscribe so that you are the first to know when i post my videos of all things horror thanks for watching let's get creepy together